Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm Stacy, and tonight I'm going to break into my box of Castle Arts colored pencils. I got these for myself for Christmas this year, this past year, and I have um, not used them yet on an actual piece. Um, they are in a beautiful box. I mean, look at this thing. Uh, part of the problem for me was the art that was on the box. A lot of these new colored pencil sets come in collectible boxes and they have really cool art on them so I may break down and get more I don't know I don't need to I just want to and the lid um oh I didn't even see this before I'm a castle artist oh you could join, you could join the club oh neato okay I might do that but the lid has all the colors with the numbers and the names, which I think is nice. Um, and then it also comes with, I, which I already swatched. I already did the swatching, you guys, because swatching colored pencils took, this took time. This took a lot of time. More than watercolor swatching. I, I was also watching TV. But to get the gradations and, and just, this was so relaxing. But they're very nice. They're, they go down super smooth and creamy. That's on white paper. And then I did them also. Let's spin it this way so you guys can see better. I also grabbed a piece of, a piece of my um, new black drawing paper. I got the Canson XL black drawing paper just to have fun on. I haven't really broke into it except for swatching this. We will not be using that tonight. But I wanted to see how opaque they were on black paper in comparison to the, the white paper. Of course, they're always going to be brighter and more vibrant on the white paper. But for the most part, you can get a nice solid color. Um, I'm, I dig it. I really do. So the box comes with this, this sheet. I'm going to set that black swatches aside. And it comes with their colored pencil tutorial, five easy stages, which I actually meant. But you can actually do the art that's on the cover, which is so cool. I may break down and do this just for fun. I forgot that was in here. And then it comes with uh, your Castle Create pamphlet with a bunch of their other products that you can get. This side. And then there's this side. And then on the inside is their chart for their colored pencils. We've got their pastel tints, their metallics, which I'm actually going to buy this week. Can't wait to get their metallic colored pencils. Um, and then this is Pencils and paints for this, it looks like this whole thing. And they have a chart for what color you can get in what medium. So that's kind of neat. And here's their key down here as well. That's, that's a nice touch, right? I, I dig it. I'll put that over there. Join the club today. Dun, dun, dun. And then there's a pamphlet on basic care, which I thought this was so nice. How to's, I haven't broken into this yet. You can do, actually you can do a whole lot of things in here. Um, from how to hold your pencils to doing color wheel. And then uh, just practical information. I have not dug into this. But I'm going to. I haven't played with colored pencils in years. To, to do a strictly colored pencil piece. Perspective is a challenge. I'm working on that this year. Different strokes you can make. Different patterns. Yeah, this is nice. Lighting. Or layering your colors. Let's see. Blending. The different ways you can blend. Ooh, Vaseline. Huh. Baby oil, blending powder, mineral spirits, rubbing alcohol, and natural oils. Interesting. 
um, burnishing and burnishing with a white pencil. I have burnishers, both just clear burnishers and white white burnishers to use different textures and techniques. And then the, here's the gallery, different things you can do. So cool. All right. So this is nice. And oh, there's a, a product selection on the back. Nice. All right. So there's that. And it comes with this beautiful piece of vellum with castle arts on it to protect our gorgeous pencils. Let's give this another spin. And I like, I love, love, love the black barrels. This is one of the reasons I chose these pencils is because of the black barrel with the color on the end. Um, it's a visual thing for me. I, I enjoy the bold difference. And then also to pull out a pencil, you can actually read the color on the barrel, which is so nice. So we have the color and the number which is, let's focus please, yeah. And you'll notice that it's hard to read that on the color. This is nice, I dig it. And then on the other side it says Castle Arts and Soft Touch, yeah. And it is a pretty nice pencil, a little heftier, like just slightly bigger around. I'm gonna grab one of my regular, well, regular pencils. Well, I guess it's about the same. But I like the smooth roundness of the pencil, and it's nice to hold in the hand. And they go down pretty soft. We have this tray, which has all of our lovely yellows and burnt oranges, a couple soft pinks to reds. So it's so satisfying to see them all lined up like that, isn't it? <laughs> this layer of our plums and into pinks and lavenders and blues. If the light changes because my computer screen's turned off. And then we have yet another tray underneath of our greens so pretty and yellow greens and then some a selection of gray there's a green gray um, cool gray cool gray deep Payne's gray is that what that says oh no it says Davies gray my bad and then we have a couple of browns and then of course black and white now I haven't really gotten crazy with the white Ooh. Some people's pet peeves, I did a swatch there, but some people's pet peeves is that the white is not opaque enough to go over other colors effectively. I don't know. We'll see. I might pick up a couple of different whites. I actually have a couple of different whites now that I look we can get into it uh, at another date. I have my Studler White and oh I, well if you really really want to get a little like bold whiteness you can use charcoal. I have a bunch of charcoal pencils as well. We're gonna get into that into another video but yeah we have a white one. And these are all of our colors and I just I think they're so pretty. We're gonna. I'm gonna set them aside, and we're going to. Um, we're gonna do a colored pencil piece, you guys. Now I'm not gonna get too crazy and technical about it, but I have my um, Legion cotton paper, 100% cotton paper, which technically, from in my brain, is watercolor paper, but you can use it for anything you want. This says right on here that it is ideal surface for graphite, pastel, colored pencil, and charcoal. So dry mediums, basically. I did a few drawings in here. Um, actually, quite a few drawings in here. We're going to go ahead and pencil in our bunny rabbit with the colored pencils. Normally, I would not start with... Um, uh, 
a colored pencil piece with such a bold drawing, so detailed. I'm going to go ahead and try and knead an eraser without losing the entire drawing. Blot a little bit of the excess graphite. That's just going to bleed and float into the color and muddy it up. Which is fine for a bunny rabbit because this bunny's going to be all browns and I mean I'm going to incorporate other colors just for fun but I don't want the graphite bleeding in. And I use um, my mechanical pencil for sketching in when I was watching TV again. I did a couple sketches while watching TV in here in the interest of creating a pencil piece for you guys. Do I want to leave the paper in here? I think I'm going to. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Scooch him up. Yeah, there we go. And I'm going to start with... I'm actually going to grab the white out real quick and create a little bit of a resist to remind myself where I want the white to be or the lighter colors to be. Because any color I put over this is going to remind me, oh, whoa, wait a minute, hold on, you didn't want to do that. <laughs> a little bit of white here, this chin, and I know you guys can't see this, but trust me, it will come it will. Uh, the edge of this ear is very white. Just gonna do a little border on it, like so. Now, the reason I'm I'm doing this, my brain is um. I don't know why, but resist, resist watercolor resist. Uh, sometimes I'll grab a pencil and if it's waxy enough, I have a couple that are, it will create a resist when I'm doing watercolors. Meaning, wherever I've put the waxy pencil down on the paper, the watercolor won't bleed around and make a mess. Okay, I think that's good for that. And I think we're going to go in with a little, a little glow on him. Let's, I like this one. As you can tell, I already nubbed that down a bit. Where's my pencil sharp? I do not have an electric pencil sharp. It's, it's on the list of things to buy. So. Handheld sharpener it is. And I know you're not supposed to turn the pencil, but it's just how things are getting done tonight. Isn't that satisfying? <laughs> I love it. Okay, I'll leave that there. I'm going to go ahead and go in with Primrose Yellow, number 002. And I'm going to just do a base of our Primrose on his whole little cell. And that will be my my light color. And I think I'm thinking right in working light to darks, right? With colored pencils. That's how I work in, in watercolor as well, generally speaking. Oops. Not pressing too hard, just kind of skimming the surface of the paper. Like so. And I kind of want him to, to look textured and scribbly. So if it comes out looking that way, it's totally what I meant to do. Um, the box is in my way. The box is in the way. Okay. I could do a little glow in here too. Just a skim, a skim of heat, that gold, keep things cohesive. 
There we go. And there he is, all yellow. It's kind of creamy looking on the camera. I guess it is in real life too. It's just, um, I need something to put my pencils on so they don't crash about. Here we go. One of my white towels. Because oh, I'm going to leave them out as I pull them out. And my table's at a slant, so they will roll about in a, in a muck-like kind of way. So, I'm going to go ahead and scooch this. Where am I going to scooch this to? To there. And then I'll pull this one over here. There we go. I'll set the pencil we're using right here. It's a little poofy, but at least they won't roll around.
Okay, back. They were clawing my furniture, which is not acceptable behavior. Okay, I'll put out. Definition and shape right here. How's that look? Yeah, I dig it. Okay. And then we got like a little bit of darkness here. Not a lot. Just a scoosh. Once again, not pressing very hard either, you guys. To get that little bit of depth. That makes a difference, doesn't it, right there? It really does. I'm not sure why, but I'm feeling a blue background behind him. Maybe because he's got lots of yellows and oranges in him. Maybe that's why. Could be. Could be. makes a difference. Makes all the difference. Okay. I think, I think, aside from this shape right here, which is throwing me off, I'll just 
do a little bit of that. Sculpting. We're sculptors now. Colored pencil sculptors. Who knew? Okay. Overall, I dig him a lot. I feel like a background is in order, though. What are we thinking? Something soft? I'm really feeling a blue. I'm not sure why. Let's go to our sheet. Maybe a, maybe a soft green. This castle green light is kind of calling to me a little bit. Where are you? Castle green light, number 059. Are you it? Nope, you're not it. See, and that was an issue when I got these. There you are. They weren't in order in the box, so some, some of them were out of order a little bit, so when I swatched initially, things got chaotic. <laughs> Which threw me off. Alright, we're going to throw in a little bit of... Just a little green glow behind him. Because that white is just not okay with me. I'm not sure why. See, here's where that resist is coming in. You see that? Got right up in there, and it didn't even didn't even touch that that white. Nice. Something to note for later. drag that brown out a bit when I got excited though. Sorry, we're not going to worry about it. We're dig we are digging that green glow. I'm purposely not going all the way to the edge of the page. Why? Because that's all I got. And a little on this side. Not a lot. Fade to Fade, fade, fade out. Artistic license, y'all. Artistic license. How's that? Do we like it? I think we do. Maybe a little bit down here to make that shadow feel more shadowy. Is that a thing? Make that shadow shadowy. <laughs> She's right. Alright. Yeah, I'm totally digging it. Oops, sorry about the camera shake. And I, I really like my colored pencils. I, I enjoy them quite a lot. Um, the only thing I didn't do was darken his nose because I really don't want it dark. Um, and I didn't want it pink either. You'll see in the reference photo if you look at it. Well, what do we think? I think he's gorgeous. I want to give it a little signature with the burnt umber. Go right here. Ta da! And there he is. Yay! Thank you so much for sticking around and watching the video. I really enjoy my new colored pencils. And we will be playing with them in subsequent videos, I'm sure. Doing a little bit of interactive play with mixed media. And I will, um, there's a little gnat. <laughs> Sorry. Um, here's a little close-up of, of all the textures. I love the texture so much. It's one of the, my favorite, favorite things. So great. Kind of looks furry, doesn't he? A little bit. What do you guys think? Alright. I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to go do other things. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!